Good morning. Good to see you here this morning. Let's stand and sing our praises to him. Welcome to LBC this morning. Thank you for joining us online or on the telephone. Uh, we are glad you are here as we transition from our Sunday morning services to our Wednesday evening services. We are just gathering this Sunday online to have a time together um, during this transition period. So I just have a few announcements for you. Uh, as we go through the summer, we still have stuff going on that we're excited for, and we're even looking a little forward into the fall. So first off, uh, last Tuesday morning, we had our first wild side of summer. It was an awesome time. We had 15 kids come out, and uh, we just had a blast 
together. So we have three more Tuesdays of Wild Side of Summer, and that happens at 9 a.m., and it goes to 12 p.m. each Tuesday um, throughout the month of July. So as I mentioned earlier, summer worship is transitioning to Wednesday nights starting this coming Wednesday, July 5th at 6.30. We're looking forward to that, and we hope to see you out for that. And starting before that, this uh, Wednesday at 5.30, we're actually having a barbecue fundraiser, and the funds we raise from this, we're going to go towards Title Impact. That is happening later on in July, and we are very close to that goal. We may even be at that goal now, uh, but we have had a couple unexpected expenses come up, so we're just looking for a few more dollars to go towards that so that we're set for the amazing week we're going to have as we welcome the Crossing Church from St. John's to join us that week. So that barbecue is going to be donation, so by donation, and any funds above the cost of the barbecue is going to go towards Tidal Impact. And lastly, I just want to say, save the date for September 10th. I know that nobody really wants to think about September yet, but just mark that in your calendar. We are going to be having a church picnic after church that Sunday. We're going to go down to Grand Bay to Brundage Point and just have a wonderful time as uh, summer comes to an end and we kind of kick off the fall here at Lancaster. Uh, we're looking forward to that. That's all the announcements I have for you, so let's just have a moment of prayer. God, we just thank you for today, and as we enter into this time of worship and this time that we dedicate to you, I pray that we uh, put out other distractions and all the things going on around us, God, and just take these moments, focus on you, uh, praise you, God, and, and just come away feeling filled and ready for our week and whatever may come. I just pray for our summer, pray for our Wednesday night services, uh, for Tidal Impact, and for Wildside as we continue to run these programs, God, I pray a blessing on them and for those that are involved. I just pray these things in your name. Amen. <laughs> Forsaken, I've been set free. I've been set free. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Oh, I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Oh, I can. Yeah. 
praise you, Lord. We thank you for all you have given us. And we pray that the words this morning in the message come into our hearts that they can, we can grow and be more like you every day. Lord, thank you in Jesus' name.
Good morning, and welcome to Lancaster Baptist Church Online. My name is Ryan Curtis, and I serve on the Board of Deacons here at LBC. Happy belated Canada Day to all our fellow Canadians, and happy early Independence Day to anyone from the U.S. that may be watching. Just a reminder, we will be observing communion on July 5th. This is when we decided to move to our in-person services on Wednesday evenings for the summer. We look forward to seeing you there starting this Wednesday, the 5th of July. Which reminds me, this week we will also be having a barbecue. This is based on donations and all in support for Title Impact. Please come and join us at 5.30 p.m. for the barbecue and the church service will start at 6.30. Now today, we're doing something a little bit different. I will be reading to you one of my favorite Bible verses. With all the uncertainty and changes in the world, I'm reminded of what Pastor Murphy said to us this past week when he quoted Hebrews 13.8. And this is as read from the message. For Jesus doesn't change. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, he is always totally himself. With this, we know that we can turn to and count on him. And here's the verse that I would like to share with you today. John 16, 33 of the New Living Testament. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Now, what does this mean? Have you ever felt as if the world was crashing in around you? That no matter what you do or say or feel has little to no impact to the things that are continuing to crash and burn and that you cannot make anything change. Remember, Jesus is here for you. Jesus loves you and he will guide you and carry you through these times. And do you know what's so wonderful about this? Jesus wants to do this for you. He wants you to turn to him, to confide in him, to give you all, to give him all your trials and tribulations so that he can help you and guide you and bring you closer to him. Trust in him. Place all your hopes and fears and pain. Give him it all. Give him all your concerns and he will guide you. He will try to put all these issues, or sorry, when we try to put all these issues or look for love and joy and acceptance in other places, we will only find short-term relief, if any. Jesus wants you to choose him, confide and trust and love him. Try to remember to give the Lord your issues and trust that he has them in hand and truly give them to him. Do not give them to him then try to take them back and begin to worry about them over and over. Trust in the Lord your God, and he will give you the guidance and love and acceptance you need. Our God will only give us what we can handle, no more or no less. And when we are having those times of troubles or trials or whatever you want to call them, I'm reminded of the Christian poem, Footprints, which I'll read to you. One night, a man had a dream. He dreamed he was walking along the beach with the Lord. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene, he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonged to him and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of his life flashed before him, he looked back at the footprints in the sand, and he noticed that many times along the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He also noticed that this happened at the very lowest and saddest times in his life. And this really bothered the man. And he questioned the Lord about it. He said, Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I've noticed that during the times of trouble in my life, there was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why I needed, when I needed you the most, you would leave me. The Lord replied, my precious, precious child, I love you, and I would never leave you. During those times of trial and suffering, 
When you see only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. This poem shows us that when we trust in the Lord our God and give him our troubles, that he will guide us and carry us through until we can stand our, on our own two feet again. So the next time that you feel down or that the world is just too much, please remember this one little excerpt from John 16, 33. Fear not, for I have overcome the world. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly and Most Gracious Father, thank you for your guidance in carrying us through these difficult times. Please, Lord, continue to guide us through any trials and help us to know that you are there to carry us when you need us or when we need you. To never feel abandoned when we feel lost. Help us to remember that you have overcome the world and that you will forever be by our side. We ask this in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. Thank you. Please stand.
Thanks for joining us online this morning. We really hope you're having a great Canada Day long weekend. And we look forward to seeing you on Wednesday night as we begin our summer Wednesdays worship time. Uh, of course, at 5.30, we'll be having a barbecue as a fundraiser for Title Impact. We hope to see you at that. And then at 6.30, we'll be joining right here at the church for worship. So we hope to see you then. Now may the master of peace himself give you the gift of getting along with each other at all times in all ways. May the master be truly among you. Amen. Have a great week.